welcome to Munich, Germany for part two of this historic boxing doubleheader where anticipation is running high for tonight's bout. It features the younger of the fighting Klitschko brothers, heavyweight Vladimir Klitschko, taking on ferocious contender Derek Jefferson. What's at stake tonight? The winner of this heavyweight showdown sets himself up for a shot at the title in the not too distant future. Klitschko, who turns 25 at midnight, has already voiced his desire to go in against the big boys before they retire. Lewis, Tyson, or even Holyfield. He wants to be champion soon. A win against Derek Jefferson would put him that much closer. Hello again, everyone. I'm Fran Charles, and welcome to this special edition of Boxing After Dark. It's the latest fashion in the heavyweight division. Giants, Vladimir Klitschko and Derek Jefferson stand over 13 feet tall between the two, and with their size comes power. Tonight, Klitschko looks to solidify his claim that he is the top contender, the top threat, to take down Lennox Lewis. While following a couple of setbacks, Derek Jefferson looks to just reappear on the small radar screen. I'm joined, as always, by former two-time featherweight champ Kevin Kelly. And, Kevin, there are a lot of guys who say they want to stand in the ring with Lennox Lewis, but is Klitschko the most legitimate contender? Well, first things first, guten Abend from Munich, which means <laughs> good evening from Munich over here. Well, the biggest thing about Klitschko, Klitschko, right now, this is only a second step up. He's fought Chris Bird, and he's beating Chris Bird. Now he's fighting Derek Jefferson, who's a big man that can punch with either hand. He has a tough task tonight. He has to beat Jefferson to make a statement to be amongst that elite top guys that he wants to fight. The Lennox Lewis's, the Mike Tyson. If he beats Jefferson tonight, he can look good and look further his career as far as getting closer to those championship fights. All right, Kevin, we hope to see a historic battle here tonight. Nearly 30 years ago, it was a historic battle right here at the Rudy Settlemeyer Arena. The gold medal basketball game in the 1972 Olympics, Team USA taking a one-point lead over the Soviet Union. And they thought they had won the gold medal, but an official from Great Britain protested, put three seconds back on the clock, said there was a clock malfunction, and the Soviets taking full advantage of this final chance, handing the U.S. its first loss in Olympic history. All right, let's take a look at the tail of the tape between Vladimir Klitschko and Derek Jefferson, two strong heavyweight contenders. Klitschko, nine years younger than Jefferson. Klitschko with a one-inch height advantage. Both fighters with the same reach. Jefferson weighed in at 260 pounds, but he was fully clothed, including boots. So his camp says he comes in approximately at 245 pounds. And now, a look at the CompuBox punch stat numbers. Their power punches per round. You see Jefferson throws more punches, but it's Klitschko landing at a higher percentage. And now for the rules of the bout, let's send it over to our unofficial ringside scorer, Julie Letterman. The Vladimir Klitschko Derek Jefferson fight is scheduled for 12 rounds using the unified rules of the Association of Boxing Commissions. There is no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight, and you cannot be saved by the bell in any round, including the 12th and final round. If Derek Jefferson had his way, he wouldn't even be here in Germany. He'd be a power forward in the NBA. In 1993, while Jefferson was attending Cumberland University in Kentucky, he and his brother Kenyatta entered a convenience store. He had a dispute with the owner over a 25-cent piece of candy. Jefferson thought it was settled, turned to leave, but the owner shot Derek and Kenyatta, hitting Derek in the leg, Kenyatta in the head. Kenyatta was partially paralyzed. Derek in a cast for nine months. It was then he took the job at a local YMCA. And from that point on, his trainer, Cross Claude Strickland, convinced him to step into the boxing ring. And it's been the right decision for Jefferson. Well, Jefferson is definitely a big, heavyweight, strong. Boy, Strickland seen his dimensions in the ring. He said, you know what? I can make this guy heavyweight champ of the world. Kevin, let's take a closer look at Derek Jefferson. Well, well, the one thing about Jefferson in training, he was all tied up. He used his right hand, he tied it to his head because he's admitted that he dropped it every time he throws his jab. He says, Jefferson says it's all about respect. He says it doesn't matter if you win or lose, but the performance you put on to gain the respect of the boxing fan. Jefferson says that he's battle-tested way more than Klesko because he's fought the likes of Maurice Harris, David Izon, and Oleg Maskev. 
Und hier kommt er. Nearly one year ago, Vladimir's older brother, Vitaly, put his version of the heavyweight title on the line against Chris Bird in Berlin. Klitschko was ahead on all scorecards, but he failed to come out in the 10th round because of a shoulder rotator cuff injury, which later required surgery. Bird with the victory. Six months later, it was Vladimir looking to avenge his brother's loss to Bird in Cologne. And this time, the Klitschko brother was victorious, sending Bird to the canvas. Telecast. You can also log on to hbo.com slash boxing and check out our latest installment of the popular Where Are They Now? Featuring 1984 gold medalist Mark Freeland. In addition, you can also sign up for HBO's newsletter, Boxing Alert, for all the latest updates and fight announcements on hbo.com slash boxing. The ring announcer for tonight's fight is the popular German actor, Karsten Speck. 
And right now he is introducing the fighters in German. Jefferson 23, 2 and 1, 19 knockouts. But when you talk about Derek Jefferson, there's no measure for one stat that he has, which is a huge heart. Well, the one thing he has is a huge heart. He can knock down, gets back up, and knocks out usually guys that knock him down. He has 13 first round knockouts. So he's, I'm expecting his first round to be hot and heavy early. Vladimir Klitschko is extremely close to his brother Vitali, and there you see Vitali in the background. Klitschko 35 and 1 with 32 knockouts. Neither brother has missed one of the other's fights. They used to spar together, but they stopped four years ago because they said they're a little too competitive. And they're not sure if they want to fight each other. But what they do want is for each brother to hold a version of the heavyweight title at the same time. Is it possible, Kev? Well, it's popular to hold various titles as brothers. I think it's a bad idea to fight as brothers. You know, no matter what they say in their life, if one beats the other, it's going to bother the other brother who lost greatly, and it's going to bother them for a long term, long time. And then I think what's going to happen is it's going to cause maybe a hatred between the two brothers. The referee for tonight's bout is Gino Rodriguez from Chicago. And tonight's judges from Germany, Joachim Jakobsen, from New York, Melvina Latham, and from Puerto Rico, Jose Torres. Folks, don't go to the refrigerator to grab something to drink. Get your snacks right now, immediately, because you don't want to miss one second of this fight. These guys are power punchers. And Derek Jefferson promised he has come all the way to Germany to bend. And let me remind you, this ring is only 18 by 18. I was heard 19 by 19. All I know, this ring is very small. Let me shut up and begin the action. Here we go. We're set for 12. Title championship bout between Vladimir Klitschko and Derek Jefferson. The biggest thing Jefferson has is that left hook. So look for an explosion. But I'm looking forward to see if he drops that right hand because Vladimir has a strong left hook also. Jefferson unleashes his right hand. Jefferson at 6'6", Klitschko at 6'7". You would think both of their fights would be on the outside. But Jefferson, even though he's a big man, likes to mix it up on the inside. Well, Jefferson has a lot of explosive power on the inside. And I think this fight's a lot safer for him on the inside than on the outside at the end of Vladimir's punches. Jefferson lunging forward. He told us yesterday he is going to try to make it a ball. He knows Klitschko can be a technician. But he wants to entice him into a battle. He needs to start utilizing that jab right away and not allowing Klitschko to get too close to him. He's got a back Klitschko with the jab. Klitschko's being very patient early. He's not letting anything that Jefferson is doing bother him. He's very patient. Like you see, Klitschko's very relaxed. Jefferson arrived one week ago and caused quite a stir at the press conference when he said March 24th tonight would be a good, good day to die. Well, he explained it to me. He said that he heard it in a movie and he figured to utilize his analogy. Hey, if he's going to lose any day, let it be today. It's a good day for it. And uh, it, it shows that his mind's into it, his body's into it. And uh, it's a little bit, to me, hesitant right now, Jefferson. Jefferson lunging forward, trying to bring the fight inside. Pay attention to Vladimir Klitschko. He will not break until the referee, Gino Rodriguez, tells him to. And that's when Klitschko can be most dangerous. When he's tied up, he will unleash that short left hook as he's doing right now. Jefferson's eye looks like, his left eye looks like, he got irritated and that combination like it's starting to close. Jefferson a bit dazed as referee Gino Rodriguez 
shouts him in and he says, let's fight. 15 seconds left in the round. Jefferson trying to hold on, bringing the fight forward to Klitschko. Vladimir Klitschko making a huge statement in the first round. In the corner of Vladimir Klitschko, they speak German. Interpreting for us tonight will be Cornelius Winner. You have to use your left first and keep it up. More easy. Don't use your violence too much. Be patient, but not too much. You have to get away from him. Free yourself. Your, your punch was wonderful. We're going to take a look at that knockdown. They're going to left hook that Vladimir started at the knockdown. The other punches really didn't land, but Jefferson still hit the canvas. Same result. There's another angle with the same left hook. It was after Jefferson threw his left hook, he got caught, and the way to beat a hook was with a hook, and that's what happened. And if Vladimir, Vladimir catches him with the same hook again from a different angle, Jefferson gets down. Same result. Kevin, as you mentioned, Jefferson hurt his eye before that knockdown took place. Yeah, it was on the inside, and Jefferson was getting a little agitated. I mean, Clutch was getting agitated on the inside. It's not like you hit him with the portion of the, the inside portion of the glove, like Julie's notifying me about. And that's what started the irritation on Jefferson's left eye. Clutch connecting on five of seven power shots from our Compton box numbers. Only the fifth time in Derek Jefferson's career he's been down on the canvas, but we have seen this before from Derek Jefferson where he's gone down, but then has come back and remained in the fight. Yeah, you have to watch out. Jefferson's most dangerous when he's hurt. That's why it's called dangerous Derek Jefferson. Klitschko lands a left hook to the chin of Derek Jefferson and now doubles up on the jab. Klitschko reminds me a lot of the, the, the American version of Drago in the Rocky go, 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 film. Go, go. He's very powerful, very strong, strong physique, strong arms, strong punching power. A dominating force in the heavyweight division. Jefferson's corner, his trainer Claude Strickland told us yesterday that he believed that the Klitschko camp chose the wrong man in Derek Jefferson. They saw something they said that they can exploit in the game of Klitschko. But so far, Klitschko's been very sharp. Okay, break, break, let's go. But the key is to, for Jefferson to execute that plan. You know, they say they're gonna keep the right hand very high, and when Jefferson got caught with little hooks, that means he dropped the right hand. Big right hand from Vladimir Klitschko, a flush right cross, dropped Derek Jefferson for the second time in the fight. Hey, come here, come here. Jefferson come here. is back on his feet. All right, he's, back. All right. he's a warrior. Let's go, back. In the second round, can Jefferson hang out? Blood now, tripling from the nose of Derek Jefferson as his left eye is shot. Jefferson down for the third time. And Rodriguez calls it a knockdown, and the fight's over. Vladimir Klitschko brought power with power. He scores his 33rd knockout with a TKO in the second round over American contender Derek Jefferson. Kevin, very impressive. The, the, like I said, he reminded me of Drago so much in the movie Rocky. He's so strong. Such a dominated force in there. I mean, I think Lennox Lewis watching this is going to see, yo, this kid has all the tools. He's powerful. He's young. He's strong. He hits very, very, very hard. And he's very patient. Yeah. You know, starts with a young fighter like Petro. He showed a great deal of patience. from Vladimir, that overhand right. I mean, the hook was lethal, but the right hand was a lot worse for Jefferson. 
Here's the same knockdown on the overhand right. Here it goes, crushed right on the jaw as Jefferson lowers that right hand, which he told us he would not lower. He got caught with that punch. Hit. Here's the last knockdown. Jefferson gets hit on the inside with two short hooks. That one short hook landed. Jefferson goes down. He never recovered from the overhand right. Here's the referee stopping the fight, saving Jefferson from any more humiliation in this fight. A, he was just out strength. Now dro drop the right hand and press over the stronger man. And here is the official decision. Winner by technical knockout in round number two after two minutes and nine seconds on Newton and old champion of the world from Hamburg, Vladimir Klitschko. Let's take a look at the final punch stat numbers between the Vitaly Klitschko, Derek Jefferson bout. And here you see the total punches. Klitschko landing 16 of 44 for 36%. Jefferson threw more, but only landed five punches for the bout and was in trouble from the outset. And note, now we're joined by the victor, Vladimir Klitschko. Vladimir, you came in, you were poised, you were confident. Was there anything that you were worried about with Derek Jefferson in the ring. Okay, you see everything, and uh, just something I, I want to say, we are the same material, like Vitaly and me, and we are world champion now, world champions now, and I want to say, I know American boxing fans love fight like this one with KO. I said before the fight, this fight gonna be not about 12 rounds, he gonna be early out and uh, I just want to make gift for me and uh, gift for the all people who see this fight and in America too thank you very much that's right Sunday is your 25th birthday let's take a look at the knockouts that we saw take me through it Vladimir right away that's the first knockdown your left hook your short left hook proved to be the difference Okay, Derek Jefferson was very dangerous. He had really big punch, but he make he make uh, mistakes, and we see that the overhand right that caught Jefferson yeah, there. I, I see this big mistake from him, and he did he get uh, uh, right straight my right hand. hand. You avenged your brother's loss to Chris Bird in October. There was a lot of question about the heart of the Klitschko's. Do you feel that you made an impressive enough statement tonight to erase the question about the heart of Vladimir Klitschko? Um, when, this, when I say just, my next fights show everything. How good is me and how good is Vitaly. Just, you have to have a patient to see this fight. Who would you like to fight next? Okay, I think after the Derek Jefferson, he's a really strong fighter. After the Derek Jefferson, I'm ready to fight against everybody in the world. What about Lennox I mean, Lewis? I mean Lennox Lewis and Mike Tyson. All right, congratulations, Vladimir Klitschko, and I'm sure we will be seeing more of you in the future. Thank you very much. See you soon. Well, now you've got to see the celebration of Vladimir Klitschko. He's celebrating his birthday in the ring today, his successful win, an impressive knockout of an American in the top 10. Vladimir is definitely one of the most dangerous heavyweights in the game. Now back to you, friend. All right, Kevin, now we're joined by Derek Jefferson. Derek, you said you weren't afraid. You were blessed with the opportunity to come here and stand on the ring with Vladimir Klitschko and that it was going to be a war. But what happened in the first round? Oh, he caught me with a nice shot, you know, right hand. Drop me. I got back up. Continue. Uh, you know, he's a big guy, strong power. You know, not take nothing away from him. You know, I'm a fighter. You know where I'm from. We lose some, we win some. Uh, you know, I'm a champion at heart. No matter what happened today, I still consider myself a champion. You know, I'm Derek Jefferson. Derek, what happened in the first round? It seemed that your eye was irritated before the first knockout. Did he catch you with tape on his glove? No, no, ain't nothing happened. Wasn't nothing wrong with me. I was in good shape. I trained. Um, you know, not take nothing away from me. You know, I don't cry when I lose. Uh, he caught me with a nice right hand. Uh, you know, he's definitely a contender. And, um, you know, right then, I guess I was in a, uh, 
you know, all out battle. You know, the main thing, I finish on my feet, you know. You, you said that you believe that there were aspects of Klitschko's game that you could exploit, but it, it didn't come to fruition tonight. No, it didn't come. It didn't come like that. You know, that's part of the boxing game. Um, you know, he called me with some hell of a shots. You know, I ain't no cry baby. Everybody that know me back in Detroit, they know what I'm about. You know, I got the heart to come all the way here in Germany to take on the world. You know, I took on the world. Well, I finished number two and number one. I'm here standing here. What's next and for Derek Jefferson? Well, you know, uh, you know, get back in the gym. You know, I took on six top ten opponents in my last eight fights. You know, I don't uh, duck nobody. Every time they see Derek Jefferson, they see me on HBO fighting. Um, you know, I don't take, I don't duck nobody. You know, I'm just gonna go polish up my skills, get better. I'm a true champion. I'm a champion at heart. All right, Derek Jefferson. If things didn't work out the way you wanted to tonight, but. Hopefully no, we'll see you down the road. It's part of life. Never do. You know, a real champion to bounce back no matter what. You know, I'm a 3-4 star, so, hey, who knows in the X? I might take up golf. All right, Derek Jefferson. So, Vladimir Klitschko comes through with a second-round TKO at the 2-minute and 9-second mark over Derek Jefferson. Klitschko says he is the top legitimate threat to take on Lennox Lewis. We will see if that fight will be made sometime this year. For the entire crew here over in Munich, Germany, for Kevin Kelly, for Julie Letterman, I'm Fran Charles. Let's send it back.